Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Chatting English. Chatting English. What's Chatting English? Well, I'll tell you. Chatting English is when we chat in English, so you can get your English conversation listening practice. Today we are going to be talking about the royals, which is very topical,、mm -hmm. and we are going to talk to each other just like we would in our kitchen. Not particularly clearly, not in our teacher voices. We're going to talk to each other really naturally. But don't worry, if you don't understand a word or a phrase, it might appear at the bottom of your screen, so you can listen and learn some useful phrases. Also,、hmm. bye, bye, bye. Did you watch the coronation, Laura? Of course, I watched the coronation. Everyone did. Did you? But people, I think, were watching it for different reasons. I think some people watched it. Out of pure support, like there were people lying in the mall and they were watching it because they really wanted to. But then other people just watched it out of curiosity. I think I was in the curiosity sector. Do you know what I mean? Do you not think that some people hate watched it also? Oh yeah, I think I think a lot of people hate watched it. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, because、yeah. it can be a bit mad.、Um, um, yeah, what category were you in? Did you say? I watched it because it's a it's a very well. When does that happen?、Oh. Yeah, I'm, no, I, I definitely. Quick pause because I need to tell you about Lingoda. What's Lingoda? Lingoda、Laura? is an online language school where you can take lessons, English lessons, twenty four seven with native level teachers. Amazing. If you're watching this, you probably want to improve your English, so listen up. Now we don't know why you're learning English. People have many different reasons for practicing English, but we do know that if you want to broaden your career prospects, maybe you want to get a better job or a job in a different country, speaking English or speaking another language can open so many doors for you. Thirty-five percent of hiring managers are more likely to hire somebody if they have a higher proficiency in another language. And you don't want your language skills to be the barrier between you and your dream job. Oh no! Learning a new language should really be on. Your list of goals, if you want to improve your career prospects, because it just says to an employer, even if the job isn't totally in English, it just says to an employer, I'm dedicated. I I am working hard to develop a new skill, and it just shows a real sense of drive and self discipline. So where does Lingoda come into all this? So like I said, Lingoda offer twenty four seven group classes or private classes in German, French, English, Spanish, and business English. Whoa! And as always with Lingoda, there is the opportunity to do the sprint challenge. So there's the sprint challenge, which is fifteen classes a month for two months, or The Super Sprint Challenge, which is thirty classes a month for two months, and the best part is, if you complete all of your classes, you can get up to a hundred percent of your money back. And I love that because I love free stuff. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Exactly. And I did it for my French. I did a Sprint Challenge for French classes. That can't be right. It is right. I did it for my French classes, and it was fantastic because I really lack motivation. I never. Remember to practice my French, but because I knew I could get some money back, I went to every single、wow. class. I was like, "I'm gonna come, I'm gonna turn up," and my French improved so much. I can't recommend it more. So, if you're looking to reach new heights with your English, the Lingoda Language Sprint is just what you need. Click the link below for more information and use our code if you want twenty euros or twenty five dollars off your Sprint registration. You're welcome. I am very interested in history, history,、mm -hmm. and yeah, kings and queens and the history of Britain, England, and all that stuff. So I would be a hypocrite、mm. if I didn't watch this. If I, what else would we have done? Yeah, I think people who said I'm not going to watch it and then had nothing else to do. I think well. Okay. You're missing out、yeah. because there's not because of like oh how amazing this is we can all wave our flags and be amazing but just you're literally witnessing something that is. From like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago, that's just interesting. There, do, you remember, do you remember when the Queen died? There was like I think like a few days, like two or three days after the Queen died,、mm. there was that whole thing where the well, the King Prince, I don't know what he was at that time, the guy the Charles, known as Prince Charlie,、yeah. he. He had to go to some room,、mm -hmm. and all the prime and ministers. Started, and he had the pen issue. Oh yeah, the pen. And he was like, yeah. Pen. Yeah, I did see. Yeah, I、really、that that、yeah. that was the first time that that was that that had been televised. Yeah. So that's amazing. I、yeah. think it was very、yeah. boring. It wasn't very interesting. But it's just cool to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. And watching it doesn't mean that you support it. Like watching it doesn't mean that you were like. 
thank God I can't wait yeah. to you know it's just it's just interesting. It's like people people say oh I didn't I didn't watch it because I don't agree with it. It's like yeah but people watched the the Justin Bieber baby video or or <laughs> Friday by just I'm Selena Gomez Rebecca Black oh right yeah and to dislike it yeah it's like okay well at least do that yeah and and also like if you don't watch it it's going to happen anyway it doesn't matter like if you don't watch it it's going to go regardless I get it yeah they're not going like pause 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 wait 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 wait. Uh, Kenneth from Lancaster is watching I mean obviously yeah I mean if you have like a really strong moral reason and you think you know I can't I'm not going to watch this and fair enough like if a lot of people in the UK really dislike the royals and I can imagine just the idea of sitting down and watching them do something would make them feel like so much anger. I get that. But if you're neutral, which I would say I am, I think I'm neutral, then I think, why not? Just stick it on. See, see what happens. You know, it's, it's interesting. And it, you can, yeah. and it's something to talk about as well. Like we, life I, can be I've so learned this, simple. Uh, I've discovered this recently that I really enjoy, I don't enjoy the, the, event them, the events themselves, but I really enjoy with you watching TV events. Yeah. Like in the, in the UK, there's a thing Live called... Live things. Red Nose Day or Children in Need, mm. which is do they exist? Do things like this exist in other countries? Maybe like telethons, telethons like charity telethons, chal- yeah, charity like charity <laughs> and yeah, and I, and usually now, well nowadays they're really bad. Mm. They're not funny. No. It's not, in, but and you get these terrible celebrities just doing terrible jokes. Oh, but poor but <laughs> poor David <Tennant. laughs> um, but. I think it's really fun to watch it with you and almost feel like a commentator. Well, yeah. Eurovision is Eurovision happening tonight. is tonight. And that's another thing. People go like, oh, I'm not watching Eurovision. But then, okay, if you've got loads of other things to do, fair enough. If you've got nothing to do and you're just sat at home... Like, and you're just going to watch the same programme that you watch every yeah, other you night. you might as well stick on Eurovision. Because then, even if you hate it, even if you think all the songs are terrible... Eurovision, by the way, if people don't know, Eurovision is the competition in Europe where everyone submits a song. Not everyone. Well, most countries do. In Europe, yeah, submit yeah. a song. And then... That they have to go through semi-finals and then there's this big grand final of like 22, 26 songs and then there's one winner and obviously we're in Europe so we watch it. Um, but yeah, so at this competition lots of people say oh it's awful, the songs are terrible, it's cheesy, whatever. But even if it's bad you could sit there with your partner and just like judge it and make jokes with each other and go oh wasn't that no awful, isn't that person a terrible singer? And sometimes that's fun. Just I, think it's, really fun. <laughs> it's really I think it's really fun. I think it's really, really fun. And it's, yeah. there's not a lot of things in life that are events or special things not unless the queen's were... funeral was one of them yeah it sounds yeah. <laughs> Woo, woohoo. yeah no but it was something interesting to watch wasn't it yeah really about. interesting even even if it's really boring yeah it's interesting that it's boring it's like yeah is this what it is yeah. oh my gosh like like we because when our grandparents generation watched the queen's coronation yeah. they all talk about it like it was this amazing thing mm. and basically if we had the same thing with mm. the king one. It's like that's what it was. That's what you would your minds were blown over. Yeah. This, and, this. and that's something to talk about. Yeah. And then you've you've got a conversation. And what I found interesting about the coronation was the all of the little little symbols. Like he had to just like oh. it would be like, okay, here are the, the glasses of destiny. Um so But there was there was a there was a stone of destiny. There was yeah. the sword and of justice. And he just had to just like touch it for and a kiss second. It. He kissed the ring, kiss he kissed the ring. Back. It was yeah. lo- lo- very lots of symbols that didn't have. Um, what's the word? Not bureaucracy, but a little bit like that. No, yeah. Oh, what is the word? I can't remember the word. Tokenism. Um, tokenism. Yeah, just like a token of. Just touch this. Yeah. There you go. Because, uh, like, in the fifteen hundreds, mm. um, there would have been like a, a a Danish prince who would have met the king of England mm. and given him a ring yeah. or something and said. Oh yes, this is the ring of unity yeah. or something, and then that's just become a thing that yeah. we have to do now but it because felt very because going through the some motions, paperwork in Denmark, for example, yeah. I'm making this up, but some paper mar- paperwork in Denmark then would go. Mm, they didn't do the the ring, the ring of... thing. He's not really the king because he didn't touch the ring of solitude. Like it's all these little, and it felt very um just going through the motions, just like okay, touch that. Yeah, there you go, and then put that glove on. I kind okay. of, I kind of would have liked it more if you'd have gone for it a bit more. Like, yeah. Or, like, <laughs> worn the ring and gone, like, Hey-ha! or something, like like um, Skeletor or, like, He-Man. Like, really go for it rather than just a little... T- yeah, it felt very, like... But what I, what I found the most amazing about the coronation 
is I'm a complete neutral, I think. I think I've got quite a good view of the royal family because I don't hate them, I don't love them, I'm very in the middle. And so I was watching it purely with a state of just interest. And what I found amazing was the promises he was making and the ceremony itself was so ancient and so like outdated, yet actually Charles and Camilla, what they are, are is a very modern relationship. Like they're a second marriage, we know that probably out you know they, they became a thing in adulterous ways and it's just so he bizarre yeah, he hadn't, yeah. And, it, and it's bizarre that he's there making these old 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 promises but he's a very modern king in that sense and it felt very um, disjointed in that regard yeah do you know what I mean like either stick to the rules and follow the ancient historical rules because in this in the ten hundreds he wouldn't have been king they would have said no you're not allowed because you you're married twice you can't do that do you know what I mean? 1000s. You know what I mean? 1100s, you know 1200s, olden days. <laughs> the olden... 1000s. What year is the 1000s? 10 hundred and 1066 Battle of Hastings. Yeah, 1000s yeah. in it. 10 hundred. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone It sounds weird. Yeah. That's what I, I don't know. The the thousands the yeah, yeah, the 1000s yeah. fine. But like he wouldn't have been king because they would have said no you can't. But... Well, well, they would have just made up the rules at that point. Yeah, probably. Because they, they would have adapted it. They weren't Squally William the Conqueror was well. William the Conqueror was the first king, like of Britain. But I <laughs> yeah, I think so. Enough. There were kings before, but there were yeah. kings in Wales, Scotland, and England before. Yeah, and then he came over and just went. I'm the William the well. He didn't. He wasn't William the Conqueror at that point. Oh, he wasn't, wasn't his like, name. He gave himself. Yeah, he was like, I'm not really gonna live up to this name. Where I'm can I go? How does how does William the Conqueror sound? What do we think, yeah. guys? Do we like that one? Like Ka- yeah. yeah, Kang the Conqueror. Yeah, Drax the oh, no, Drax the Destroyer. Drax from... the Dad now. Sorry, yeah. if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, that's what we're talking about. Right By the now. time Laura subtitles this, it'll be Guardians of the Galaxy Four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, um, yeah, yeah. No, it's, so it's so yeah. He, the whole thing is just evolved into this weird it was just weird it was weird i think the weirdness comes in everything is so ancient like the promises the the ceremonies and we've only ever seen that on film once but because that was so old the the footage looks old everyone looks old so it kind of fits i saw a tweet that said someone like something like the royal family shouldn't like doesn't doesn't feel like it should exist the same time as iPhones. Yeah, or like this, sh- it feels weird to see these things in HD. Yeah. Sorry, HD. I get a lot of comments saying I shouldn't say H, which is a regional thing. So live with it. Right. Um, yeah, to see it in HD is bizarre because it's like these really old things, and you see it in this crystal clear footage. Yeah. And it makes. Th- I thought it made the robes and the crowns look cheap. Because it was so crystal clear, whereas when it's older footage, it kind of looks a bit grainy. You, you can't really see the detail. Yeah, yeah. Whereas I thought they looked a bit like they were in costume. Do, do, do you remember when the Queen's Christmas speech was in 3D? Stop it. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> no, it was Yes, it was. <laughs> what did you There mean? was a big thing. There was a big thing. There was a... No, I, I it promise. Wasn't. Are you serious? It was either the Queen's Speech or it was David Attenborough, a David Attenborough documentary. But I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to check it because I'm. It's not the Queen's am... Speech. What would be three D about that? <laughs> I'd like to wish you a very happy Christmas as she reaches Queen out. Queen <laughs> Speech, three D. Darling, there's no way. The Queen's Speech in three D. Queen's three D Christmas Speech that was in 2012. Everything was three D in 2012. But for what? Three D format. It just was. It just was. Oh, I need. Everything to see was that. in 3D. <laughs> well, everything's now. in 3D now, still. But you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, I need to see that. Yeah, because she was the first one to do. She did black. She did black and white color HD 3D. What a pioneer. And David Amber. Yeah. Who so, is, by the way? Guess who old he is now? Ninety-seven. Yeah. Well, fair <laughs> <enough. laughs> there you go. Done. Yeah. No, it's. I think it, that that's the weirdest part for me is is seeing it in such a modern light but it's so not modern it's so not modern like all like he, he made a promise of like i promise i'm a protestant and my predecessor my uh, successor will be a protestant like that's a very ancient kind of promise isn't it like in this secular world yeah. we live in yeah like the uk is not a protestant country it's not like everyone in the uk is a protestant and therefore the king has to be a protestant like that's such an ancient promise but we're seeing it in hd and in this modern it felt very yes. disjointed. But then some people like that. I, I do agree that it was weird. Like, after the coronation, mm. they showed the movie Tangled. <laughs> That's what they showed Tangled. after it. On yeah. BBC. On BBC. <laughs> to tie over until the... No, there wasn't the concert. The concert was... And then there was the highlights. 
the best yeah. bits. The match of the day. Yeah. The coronation. Yeah. So. What go What on. do you think is the general consensus of people in the UK, all ages? Because I get this question a lot as an English teacher. Like, because we've been talking about the coronation with my students a lot, and people, and a lot of them say, um, "What do you think about the coronation?" Like, what? Um, about I think we're one? a bad. I'm. I'm a weird one because I'm Welsh and I'm young. Why would Girl, Why most? would a Welsh person? I'm not getting too political, but why would a Welsh person have a different view of the royal family to an English person? Do you think? So again, I'm just going to say I'm not clued up on this as much mm. as other people. I'm really not. Mm. I just pick up information from other people, mm. that kind of thing. But my opinion is that it, it must be this: that Welsh people and Scot- some Scottish people, mm. Celtic people, yeah. Celt- the Celtic countries, because England historically it was the bigger country, yeah. and then then William the Conqueror took over. England? I don't know. I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> Basically, they kind of... Yeah, they took over a lot of other countries. There was the Henry the Fifth or something like that, yeah, maybe? Or I Henry the Sixth? Henry yeah. the Fifth, I yeah. believe, abolished the Welsh language and made it illegal. Right. Things we like that. fact check that. Carry because on. of the whole unity of, like, the English language and things like that. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, and there's just a lot of... Um, basically things like well they're the king of England it was Henry V-I-I V-I-I-I for the 8th I can't do Roman numerals well, that might That's be the 8th yeah. Henry VIII Henry VIII. in 1536 Henry VIII decided to pass the Act of Union prohibiting the use of Welsh in public administration and the, and the yeah, legal system yeah things like that you know what I mean the whole Prince of Wales thing don't really want to get into that yeah. but the whole basically the Prince of Wales is um, the the son or the, can it be the princess? Normally it is. It's the, it's the, son the, the, the eldest son of the, the current monarch. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's William now. Yeah, and it was Prince Charles. Yeah. Um, but that historically comes from, basically, there was like a Welsh revolt mm. and England won. And as like a bit of a punishment, I think they titled, they said, forever now the son of the king will yeah. always be the prince of Wales. He will rule over you. Yeah. And that historically is not a nice thing. So yeah. just get rid of it. Just get rid of it now, please. Or I would really, I've said this, like if I were Prince William and Kate and I knew for years and years and years that we're going to become the prince and princess of Wales someday, I'd learn fluent Welsh. Yeah. I think that's the minimal. Just so that you can go to like a, an event in but Wales. But they didn't. But they <laughs> I just think that's like such an... An easy step to take because it's not hard to learn a language. I teach people from all over the world learning learning Welsh. Not William, Prince for William. For no re- for no reason. Yeah, just, they just, just want to. Just because they want to. And he is and the, the Prince, Prince of, Wales. of Wales. Has had his whole life. Do you remember not when my to. brother said to you, but yeah. like, why don't you why don't you send a letter?" And he said, "What well, if you send a letter to Prince William and say I'll be a Welsh teacher? Like literally send a letter to Prince William offering to be his Welsh teacher. Could you imagine what would you do if someone booked in and it just said like." Unknown, will. Or just will. Like, will, and then you turned on the the Skype or whatever, and you were like, "Hello, hello," and it was like, "Oh, hi," and it was <laughs> Prince William. Would you be able to do a normal lesson? I think I think I'm quite good at. I wouldn't want. I don't like going. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, like oh, you're up here and I'm down here. I would try to talk to him oh, at a level. I think he'd want that. And as it, well. I think he would want that as well. I really like Prince William. I know I've just said about like the the Welsh stuff. I do like him. I think he's I like nice. him. I don't. I'm disappointed that he didn't have that he like yeah. is taking on the whole Prince of Wales thing. But yeah, that's but, not but him, is it? but he seems like a nice guy. But he seems like a normal guy. Yeah. Which then, when he's king, will be even weirder. I kinda yeah. I would rather him be a like an a, like almost like a higher being. So I can mm. so I can I can kind of um, what's it called? Cal- I can register. I can understand it yeah. a bit more. I can put it in a box, and I can say, yeah. okay, well, yeah, of course he's the king because yeah. that. But if I so for it's example, like the future king was on a podcast with Peter Crouch. Yeah, and and that was a weird Being thing we said as well because we've been so used to the queen. Obviously, most a lot of a Chinese people, food. Not, Chinese yeah. food. Oh, don't get into that TikTok debate. There's a huge TikTok debate at the minute about how British people call having a Chinese takeaway. We call it having a Chinese, but we mean a Chinese takeaway. But anyway, anyway, um, so. Yeah, so what we said was really weird is obviously we're so used to the Queen and for us, because that's just the Queen and she's kept this very kind of like stoic, regal, I'm just going to sit like this and barely move my face. We can kind of put her in this box of, oh, she's other, she's other. Whereas now, King Charles is just like an old man and it's very weird to see a monarch while God Save the King is being sung stand there and have facial expressions because the Queen would just sit there like this. Yeah. Whereas now King Charles is sort of looking around like, 
This is nice. And it's almost like weirder because it's like, oh, you know that we're singing to you. Like you're, you're yeah, addressing the, queen, the fact the queen, that we're singing to you. The queen you. was before was basically a 3D version of the picture on the mummy. Yeah. And she the... barely did anything with her face. She, she did more barely... in the stamps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whereas now it's almost like I'm singing to this human and it's weird. The queen didn't seem human. Yeah. You know I, I mean? feel like now with Prince Charles, King Charles so far... That it feels more like, yeah, we've got somebody who rules over us yes. a bit more. Um, and because it's king as well, king feels a bit more medieval, weirdly. Yeah. King feels Whereas there, there weren't many queens. How many queens were they? What, in, uh, what have they been? In the UK? Yeah. Um, seven? Can you name them? Queen Anne. Was that one? Yeah, Queen okay, Anne. Queen She's Anne. in the favourite. Okay. <laughs> Is Olivia Colman. Queen Anne. Queen Mary. Mary. Queen Mary. Bloody Mary. Virgin Mary. Bloody Mary and Virgin Mary, they're different people. The Elizabeth the First and Elizabeth the Second, I'll give you those. Yeah. Queen Mary. Was Mary Queen of Scots, did she become queen? I don't think she did. No, I don't think she did. I think she, because we watched the film. Yeah. I think Elizabeth the First had her killed. <laughs> this is the worst history lesson. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't think she had her killed. Because they were, she was her cousin. No, didn't she die in the film? We're basing all of our knowledge off this one film. Oh, did she? Yeah, she got beheaded. There you go. Oh, yeah. Queen. I think there's only been about eight ruling queens, like not queen consorts. No, I don't think there's been that many. I think it's about five or six. <sighs> I think so. Because I think that um, there'll be somebody now commenting on, on the video going, these guys don't know what they're talking about. Well, we're not supposed to. Oh. We're just normal people chatting about <laughs> no, the yeah. royal family. Yeah, so eight. eight. There we go. We were eight. Close. Was eight. it eight? There you said eight, didn't you? Yeah, seven. Wow. Said eight. There five have five. only been eight reigning queen, queens, have been, including Queen uh, the second, uh, Elizabeth II. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's it'll be... I did What I wanted was... I wanted Charles for whatever reason because my opinion is the best way to get the monarchy into young people's hearts because I think there was a poll I saw and it, the question was does the UK need a monarchy? People aged 60 and above were like overwhelmingly yes. Yeah. People in the middle age were like what well, young people under 30 was like categorically no. Um, so what are they but going why? to why? do? Why? I just think Why it's... do you think younger people have that? Because we've grown up in a global world. Yeah, you know, we a, see it. We course. see other. So we see other countries that yeah, you know they don't, don't have it. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, what are they going to do? Because when our generation is about you know forty, fifty, and and what, who's going to support them? What are we? What are they going to do? So I think it's it really relies but, but, on but, William. But you do, but like mate, so I like, care a little bit. You like William, mm. and that 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 opinion of like I like William. That's what people thought of Diana and Charles and yeah. people like that. Yeah. So so that's why those people have gone to the streets to see them. Like, I'm interested. You probably won't. Yeah. But there will be some people who like William now, who like, yeah. exactly like you, don't really care. But I like William. So when he's coronated, it'll almost be like a... Yeah, I think I will... It'll be like a fan I thing. I said that, didn't I? I said, I'll, I think I'll care a lot more about the yeah. William coronation. But why? Even though it's the same because ingrained problems. Charles to us has always just been an old man. What's Prince William's son called? George. That'll be weird. Because literally, yeah. I'll be... I remember when you were born. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think... Yeah, I think what a lot of it relies on how William tackles it. I think whenever William becomes king, he's got a big job of modernising the monarchy and making us care i think that's going to be his job of because because we the, don't the monarch monaco have a royal family i think yeah. and I, yeah. I don't see them kicking about in castles and stuff but then that's why people are interested in our because we family. ours is so because ours is kind of and yeah and over the top and i think as tourists mm. people coming here they look at they look at it and think wow that's almost like a like a theme park in yeah. a way. It's almost like, wow, look at these, like like, like toys, like playing history, with the kings and queens. It's history in, in modern day. Yeah, that's true. And I understand that. And objectively, yeah. I can look at that and go, that's really cool. It's cool. Um, like, oh, there's a king of England who lives in that house. Yeah. Or whatever. That's cool. But in, like, for us living here, yeah. the problems that are ingrained in... Britain, mm. I think. I, you know, again, I'm not an expert on this mm. stuff. But the politics aren't good at the moment. Mm. Britain's not 
great at the moment, mm. like in terms of like like Money. the economy yeah. and everything like that. So we we have we have to live with those problems day to day, don't we? Yeah. So, so it's then, a bit weird to see a yeah, king. It's like people go, "Oh, isn't it great when you have a king? When you have a king or a queen?" And it's like, "Yeah, but cheese is seven pounds at the moment." <laughs> Yeah, it's true. I, I think I, I said this to a student. I said, like, if William came forward and when he became king and said, you know what, we're going to get rid of a lot of our properties because we don't really need them, like Balmoral and, and like Windsor Castle, and we're going to put them back into public ownership and you can have events there and weddings there and you can just come visit it whenever. And we're going to move like three families into Buckingham Palace because three families can, four, f- seven families can live in Buckingham Palace and probably never see each other. It's not like they're yeah. all going to be cramped over the kitchen and like, oh, sorry, can I use the bathroom next? You know, it, they'll be fine. And I think just a little nod, like, we understand that Buckingham Palace is huge, so we're going to put three families in there. It's going to be... Do BBC in there. Yeah, it's going to be... Do the BBC uh, it's going to be Prince William and Kate. It's going to be... um oh, hurry, Megan. It'll be, you know, like... um uh, Prince Edward and uh, oh no, they'll be gone by then. I don't know. Yeah. Just some, some not of, Andrew. Th- yeah, not Andrew. Some of the um, the other royals can live there, and I just think that <laughs> you you named Kate and William. Well, we, no, we'll by then. Oh, I know some. Eugene, not Eugene. <laughs> it's Eugenie. 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 Oh, Eugenie. Okay. And Beatrice. But there are a couple of steps that they can do to make people like us go, oh, fair, fair play. That's that's a nice step. They've sold a house. Yeah. People sell houses all the time. Would you like to be a member of a royal family? If, if, if you could take a pill that means you are reborn, same you, but you are the son of Prince William. I genuinely mean, I, I, for a day, for, for a week, for a month, for a year, for a few years, <laughs> for a year... It'd be fun. I think it'd be really fun. Yeah. But for your for your life, I've said I said this to somebody when I talk here. I think that it's weird to think, but though the the royals, we look at them and think, wow, they have everything they want. Mm. But they look at our lives mm. and want things that we have, just like make like go into the pub. Yeah. Or I don't know. Yeah. They can. I suppose they could go to the pub. Yeah, but um, that would be like a state visit, wouldn't it? That would be like yeah, exactly. cameras and like they want to. The they want to just go. So, for example, if Prince William goes to watch Aston Villa, he supports Aston Villa. Woo! Um, if he goes to watch that, yeah. he might look at just some people going home mm. or going for a pizza or going mm. to the pub again or something like that afterwards and just be a bit jealous that that he has to go in a car yeah. and be driven back to his soulless castle. And you know what I mean? Yeah. So like every... What is it? I Something like privilege is only privilege if you don't have it. Or oh, I'm butchering that, that there. I don't know what I'm saying. It's something like that you only it's like listening to Gandhi this look <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember it's something like basically like you you want what you don't have of and course, yeah the grass is always greener is that the one you're going for no there's something better than that but yeah the grass is there's the grass is, isn't greener on the other side yes necessarily yeah that's yeah. what I said the grass isn't always greener oh, like on the we other look side. at the royal family and think we think wow better. they have everything yeah but like it's actually quite a dysfunctional family. If you if you if you took their story of their family but put it with a normal family, you'd say, "Oh, God, they have a lot of issues, don't they? Yeah, like they have a lot of drama because they do." Yeah, and oh. also, it's just all in the public eye as well. Mm. Well, that's all we see. Mm. Don't know what else goes on. Um, I do think if the royal family could become entirely self sufficient, because they do earn a lot of money with. Um, I don't get the whole money thing. I don't get it. I don't. Not that I. I don't agree with it. Or yeah. I disagree with it. I just don't understand when people say they bring in lots of money. How? How? People say, oh, the biscuit tins <laughs> and things like that. Well, they do. There's numbers that show that they do. So I think if they could become fully self sufficient, then I don't think. I think there would be a lot less. Uh, there'd be a lot less people arguing against them because it'd be like, well. What harm do they do to you? They don't have any political power. They don't make any decisions. But then, but then there's that whole thing of okay, it's, they they become completely self sufficient. That and they continue for a, for how many yeah. hundreds of years in the future. That means there are pe- there are children, there are people who are not born yet who yeah. are just going to be born into privilege. And I think that it 
But that. if they're making that money themselves, that's no different than Brad Pitt's children. If like their parents made their money and like they're earning it, it's do you know what no. I mean? And it's like well, yeah. of course, yeah. Kids will always be born into rich families. That will always happen. It just happens to be this one is is the king. I I would have. There's just something not right about us paying tax and yeah. they get some of it. No, I'd like I can't to, I'd that. like to say really I'd like for. to say that if the royal family were completely self sufficient, I wouldn't have any issues with them. I think I'd be like, yeah, whatever, live their life, because I think. They'd just be celebrities then, though. Exactly. There wouldn't be any difference exactly. between but them it, and Brad But it gives Pitt. the UK a bit of like a... Brad Pitt, we were like 50. Um, it it gives the UK a bit of a... Yeah, like a theme park. It makes it gives us an attraction. It makes people want to come. And it and it gives us but his, that, history and emotion. But that's sad, that, that's sad for them, then, that we are talking about them like they're a... I think they know that, though. I think they Yeah, know. and that's why I wouldn't want to be a king or a queen. Would you? Um, I'd like to be a ruling queen that could make choices. I think I'd be a good queen. Would you? Yeah. What would you do? I'd just make the UK a really lovely place. I'd just make yeah. everyone happy, make sure right. everyone's good. I'd be a good and decent queen. And I'm sure it's hard. I wouldn't like to be a queen that doesn't make any choices because I'd feel really annoyed. I'd be sat there like, I can't, I'm the queen, I can't do anything. I can't like, I see, you know, governments getting it all wrong and I'd like to step in. So I'd like to be a, a queen. But could they? Could they step no, in? No, they're not allowed to. They signed a thing in... Then, the... then it just becomes more of a thing of what's the point? What's the point? The point is the it's tourism like... and, the, and, the, and the history. It's just about like... It's a bit like, you know, when you've got like a family tradition and you do it for years and years and then one year you don't do it. It's like, oh, that's sad. Like we've, oh, we've stopped that tradition. I do agree. Like I said, I'm interested in history and kings and queens. Yeah. So if, if one year they just said, right, like Prince William is going to be the last king and when yeah. he dies, that's it. I would feel like, oh, that's so sad. That, that is really sad. I, 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 cause just for yeah. history, I do get that. In the same way that if some, like, um, wrecking ball hit the Statue of Liberty and knocked that down, yeah. I just think like, oh, that's sad because that, that's yeah. been there for so long. Yeah. Um, but I, it must be so tiring that everywhere you go, it's an event. Yeah. What's that thing you told me? That, like the queen or the king now, but the queen um, thinks that everywhere smells like fresh paint. That's, yeah. Well, the the queen must think that the whole world smells, smells like, like fresh paint and freshly mown grass. Yeah, because she what well, everywhere she goes. Yeah. Ev- so if she said, "I'm going to," oh, if she came here, we'd paint. <laughs> Would oh, we? If she came here, we'd be very shocked. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> if he came, <laughs> if 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 he came here, I wouldn't paint. What what? What do you mean? He was in, he was in the army and stuff. That's true. He probably seemed worse. And if he came here, yeah, and he and he came in it, and he had a go at us <laughs> for not painting, it's like, oh, give it. What are you talking about? What? I just thought then. Imagine if like William has got like yeah, I'm sure he's got YouTube. What if he's curious and thinks, I wonder what British people think of us, and types in like, what do British people think of the royals, and he stumbles on this video. Yeah, shave your head, right, William? Well. <laughs> shave your head. Yeah, you'll look really good with a shaved head. I think men look great yeah. if they <laughs> don't ignore the whole thing about Welsh lessons. Yeah, please. ignore all that. If do you want a Welsh lesson, it's available. Um, um, yeah, but if he came and he and and he had a go at us for pe- for not painting or something like that, give give us a break. You do it then. You do it. I don't. I don't get this thing of like, cause yeah, I, I, I could sense then you were gonna say, you can't ask the king to do that if he's just a person. If he's, he's just a normal person. You said at the coronation, I came to serve, not to be served. Paint my house. Yeah, yeah. We've <laughs> put, got put that to the test. We've, we've got, got some ants. We've got some ants. Ant we need some outside. guttering cleaning up. We need our patio done. We've got a lot of weeds. So if he came to serve, Where weed, is he? weed me drive. Where are you? Where are you? Can we, because I think we've spoken for a good amount of time, can we finish this episode with my Princess Diana impression? Because I think it's apt. And I do a really good Princess Diana impression. Can I do it? Of course you can. Okay. <clears throat> ask, ask me a question, I'll answer like Princess Diana. Uh, I, I, can, I always laugh doing this one. I can never, Yeah, okay. I don't know why. Okay. What are we going to do after this episode? What are we going to do for the rest of the today? <laughs> well, I think that's a quite an interesting question actually um i'd quite like to um go to the shops i think that would be really nice and um after that um maybe play a game really no i don't know i just see what i'm saying i've got to do some work <laughs> <laughs> i've got to do some work after this lovely chatting to you
Oh, thanks. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you. I'll see this you is... literally now. Just now? Okay, yeah. right. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that little conversation. If you didn't understand everything, don't worry about it. You can go back, watch it again, look at the subtitles. You can practice it as many times as you want. If you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button and that bell thing, the bell button. Oh yeah, the bell um, gives you a notification if we post. Thank you so, so much for watching. We'll be back soon with some more stuff soon. Bye-bye. Ta-ta. Ta-ta.